Welcome back, everybody. In my efforts to try to find what is the most controversial, cringy, strangest manga out there, I stumbled across a blending of two genres I never expected. I found out about this, which this is apparently a real life movie, as far as I can tell. It's based on the manga. My Chan no Nichijo. A sadistic place in a remote location put out a help wanted ad, luring young teen girls to come work as a live in maid, only to control them for sexual abuse, torture, murder, and cannibalism. Wow. It's got a 5.0, I wonder why. This just sounds awful. This is like a ma but it's a manga, and you would think, like, based on this image, like, wow, it can't be that bad, right? No, no, no. It is that bad. You got, like, a plate of flesh, looks like, with a chain around her that's hooked up to her wrist, so you can never put your wrist down by your side. You have to constantly hold it up. Like, those pictures you see online, dudes who got... It's like, I held on my hand for 46 years, and now it looks all necrotic. But my Chan no Nichijou tells the story of a 17-year-old girl, my Chan. Uh, my Chan has the ability to quickly regenerate from injuries, no matter how severe. Working, <laughs> I forgot this part in the real-life movie. Working as a maid, she is also sold to a number of clients who can do whatever they wish to her, no matter how cruel or painful, just to satisfy their desire. So it's basically just some of the worst that you could do to someone. It's like torture porn, which, interestingly enough, this is what. I was shocked by the genres, this horror and hentai. So literally, torture porn. I was so surprised that I'd never seen these two genres mixed before in my efforts to try to find just the most disgusting stuff. I found this based on here, it was an iceberg thing that led me to this. Like one of the most horror movies, iceberg. This person gave it a 9, a 3, a 7, a 2. Overall rating of about a 5. The story gets a 9 out of 10. The story in and of itself isn't that good, but the, premi the premise of the main character, Mai, is she cannot die. She's stuck in a whorehouse for wealthy loons and sexually humiliating this member daily. Sounds run of the mill, does it? Is this run of the mill? Well, I guess it may be... I guess maybe it is, but it is executed quite well. I see what you did there. The whole she could never die thing really can... Really was done well in the series, and I have never seen it before. Really, the plot story doesn't matter because when you read Guru, I don't know what the hell that is, and I don't want to know. You want to see two things, sex and gore. Why? Why would you want to see those two things together? <laughs> what mistakes have you made in your life that led up to this decision? These two are present. Adwell executed, superpower, a source from the main character, and bam, you got a 9 out of 10 for the story. They don't even talk about the story. It's like, it's new, it's different, so 9 out of 10. Yeah, just because it's new and different doesn't make something good. Uh, art, 9 out of 10. Uzaga Wata has always been a good artist, but in the manga he really shines. Everything is extremely detailed. That sounds awful, given the genres. Given that this is literally torture porn, or gore porn. That sounds awful. But not to the point where you feel that you're being overwhelmed. Okay, for such a far-fetched story, the gore and sexual organs of the characters are actually portrayed rather realistically. That sounds, again, disgusting. You don't want to have, like, somebody's severed head and a fucking vagina in the same frame. It just sounds awful. Really, my only complaint is that sometimes he shaded a bit too much and it made it hard to tell what he was drawing, but that only happens once or twice. It doesn't spoil anything. Ugh. I, 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 yeah, I don't like these spoil here when you're talking about literally meat. Character. Nothing special except for my chan Every other character is pretty much stock. All the girls, of all the girls in the manga, my chan is the only one who actually managed to look hot. Not impressive for a girl manga. I guess it's average in the field. Is this a... Hero Girl is an artistic genre that puts its focus on eroticism, sexual corruption, and decadence as a term that is used to denote something that is both erotic and grotesque. What the fuck? And then it's got like severed limbs right here. Like, oh damn, baby. Chopped up bodies. Oof. Really gets the pecker working. What can I say? I enjoy a good shock. Like fucking a severed head? This manga delivered some shocks. Oh, and did I mention that the final chapter is actually so shocking, awesome, famous that it has become an internet meme? Oh, well, it has. I don't want to know what it is. I have no idea what it is, and I don't want to know. It's based on everything I've read here, I don't want to know. Read this manga if you want to be shocked. Great Guru. Classic. Read it now. Read it now. Stop reading my review and read it now. No, I'm good. I think I would rather uh, slam my testicles on the fucking toilet seat. So, we're good. Gave it a three. 
Okay, I put this manga in my complete list, but I actually dropped it at the last chapter because what can I say? I am used to fucked up manga, but this manga has the most fucked up scene ever. Oh, great. This is the beautiful and innocent story of a maid who can't die. So she's a sex slave in a whorehouse for crazy ass motherfuckers who should go to a fucking prison for life because they enjoy hurting and torturing her while raping her. Oh, yeah. And keeping this in mind, don't forget how this person was praising it. And torturing, not like the Fifty Shades of Grey bastard. I mean, burning her to death, cutting her fucking head off while raping her. Yeah, I was aware of the... I was aware of what Iro Guro was. And even this disturbing shit that happened in this manga, I kept reading. But I stopped at one goddamn part where I drew the line and said, Nope, fuck this shit, I'm out. Spoiler alert, hey, in case you want to read this, by the way. In which case... Please call it mental institution or the police and let them know because you're going to be put on a watch list just for fucking buying this. In the moment I saw the baby... What? I'm disgusted and scared as you know that there's someone who drawled, drew, this manga, someone who edited this manga, and someone who thought it would be a good idea to publish and even make a fucking movie of it. But it's the most disturbing fact is that there are people who master... What? Get excited how why you guys should go to a madhouse. Go find yourself a psychiatrist. Yeah, no, what? This is the... This is the meme part this person was talking about? The final chapter is so fucking awesome famous that it's becoming a meme. That? Th yeah, I mean, the title's real fucking fitting, ain't it? That? This is the awesome you're talking about? Oh, fucking hell. I'm not sleeping tonight. I read this piece of Nightmare to Curiosity. I watched videos of a guy named Joey, the anime man, on YouTube. I thought, oh, I've already watched some fucked up hentais out here. What? Why is it? I guess, as I was gonna say, why is it always hentai? But I guess it's because it's like drawn. You can fake a lot more stuff and get away with it. So why the fuck not read my chance daily life? Somebody please slap my two hours ago self in the face. And now speaking about the protagonist, my chan, I kind of liked her. She's a cinnamon roll. He didn't deserve all the shit that happened to her. This manga overall accomplished its goal. I mean, it's portrayed pretty well the she can't die thing, so I would give it more points. But the freaking baby scene. Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, I don't want to read any more of this. I uh, See, I'm not going to sleep tonight. Can I see? I would not have my picture anywhere associated with this stuff. <laughs> I would not do that. Do you have a website? I'm scared to go there. This manga is a love comedy? Bullshit. Don't you fucking lie to me. Yeah, this person has a sick obsession with rape. I found out. More than you can imagine and also zoophilia. Alright, well. What is wrong with people? You know, there is at least a saving grace in my life. That I don't have any like fucked up fetishes. Not attracted to animals. Not attracted to this whole gore rape shit. So thank God I'm at least semi normal. It's very clear. Actually, you know, you could just about get away with anything, considering what this carrot's done. And you could still be considered normal. So congratulations. This person has set the new low. I'm sure the rest of this is rape manga. I do not feel safe sharing a planet with this dude. Same. Same. I mean, this person's on all kinds of watch lists, at least. Insanely bad artists, if you're scared of fantasy characters getting butchered, you're in an absolute pussy and get no bitches. Right. And if you are into this whole rape gore stuff and watching babies get fucked, you are getting all the bitches, apparently. Is the pen name of the famous manga artist who is widely regarded to be Japan's equivalent to Dr. Seuss? Except in writing stories with rhymes lovable characters, Uzaiga... Enjoys writing stories about women being mutilated and killed in the most absurd and over-the-top ways that he can think of. Isn't Japan just wonderful? To be fair, this guy is not indicative of all of Japan. Uh, to be fair, this is just one fucked up individual. Anyways, there you go. It's, um, there's some horror for you tonight. You're not going to sleep either, so at least we're in this together. Congratulations. Anyways, have a good day.